Are we filming? I hope so. Yes, we are. Okay, so um, another mail time. Uh, where are my scissors? I don't have my scissors, so I'm going to do it this way. Um, but I think I've got a few things in here. Let's just have a look. Okay, so let's do them one at a time, I think. So, uh, where's my knife? A bit disorganised today. Oh, I think this is a this is a fountain pen. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. What have we got here? This is a. I mean, it's a voyage of discovery, these fountain pens for me. Um, but what we have here is an interesting pen. I, I've, I've, got a, I've got a thing about these transparent pens because I like the idea of the, uh, the, the ink being on display so that I can see what's left. Um, there appears to be some sort of grease on here, which is a good thing because this is, I guess, a, a dropper pen. Quite a nice one, if I recall. Uh, but again, all these pens that I've got will be reviewed at some point. So, interesting. I quite like that. I can't remember what it was, but I will... I will endeavour to let you guys know in the review. Um, we have some cartridges here, but clearly this is a this can be used as a dropper pen as well. It's even got a dropper. Quite nice. Obviously, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating as to whether or not it writes nicely. So, what else do we have? I believe these are paper mate. Papermate Mini Compact Fountain Pens Fine Nib. And, okay, so we have a cartridge. And if I turn it round the other way, there we go. Okay, so an interesting, an interesting pen. Don't know how, how it's going to write. Strangely, this doesn't, you can't post the cap, which is a little bit on the strange side. A little bit disappointing, but these cost me about a pound each. So it's it's not exactly going to worry me if this turns out to be not suitable. But again, it's another pen for testing. Right, what have we got here? Right, so this is... <coughs> Um, I've used this for quite a, quite some time, but as you can probably tell, this is Renaper, which is um, it's made from natural ingredients, including beeswax and jojoba oil. Um, I have used this to good effect um, on some filofaxes. Well, we'll have to see, but uh, I've actually used quite a lot of this, and I've lost it somewhere. I've got another lot of this, but I just bought some more uh, because I'm I'm going to be doing some cleaning and reconditioning in preparation for selling a few binders at some point. Um, here we've got some saddle soap. Again, I have got a box somewhere. In fact, as I open this, I've got a pretty good hunch as to where my others is. But I've used this as well. Saddle soap. It is what it is. Um, and uh, seems to seems to do the job. Um, uh, what else have we got? So, a treasure by September leather, handmade, um, made in China. 
Leather Pocket Travel Journal Brown. Okay, well, that's a very descriptive term. Let's have a quick look. Again, this is just a mail time. It's not really a review. Although, sometimes on an individual item, and I, I kind of blend the, the mail time and the review together. But, um, okay, so we got a, like an elastic strap. It comes in a leather bag. It'd be interesting to see what the leather feels like. Um, I have a plan. This is part of something I'm going to make myself, but uh, um, we will see. Um, does the leather feel like it's proper leather? Yes. Um, it feels like it's it would uh, improve with age. Um, and we've got a ubiquitous notebook inside. Um, but what am I going to do with this? Time will tell, but uh, for the moment, it's just going to be in my uh, in my. I wonder why this is tall, longer than the others. Don't know. Don't know. But there we go. So, a, a project, a leather project, and finally, I don't know why. I don't know why they. I ordered a set of three, and they've sent me. Two sets of three. I wonder why. Maybe they're making a mistake. I'll have to have a look on my account to see what's what's happening there. But uh, okay, so um, a bit of a, an unusual one. I'm quite looking forward to working with this. It's not a traveller's notebook. It's just a cheap Chinese copy. Although I don't know where the traveller's notebooks are made. Maybe they're made in China as well. But but the material feels like it's good quality full grain leather has a fantastic smell to it. Um, I would love to see Filofax make basic binders out of this sort of material and just bolt a, uh, a, a set of ring binders inside, preferably Kraus, to give that longevity that we all crave. Um, but um, let's see what I can make of this. It's a bit of a project. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.